Hello, this is Leo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a series of game development tutorial on Unreal Engine 5, mainly based on the game animation sample in replace of the default template of third-person controller of Unreal Engine. And in this series of tutorial, I'm going to show you this uh, how you can migrate this project into your own world and how to replace the default avatar into your own metahuman. So first of all, you need to go to the marketplace, search for game animation sample. Keep in mind that by the time I record this video, it only supports the version 5.4. Make sure we had that engine in your library. Once you have it, it should uh, create a whole new project. So we can just click on that. Uh, once you into the, go into this project, you can just run the default level and play the around with the key WSAD with this character. And also uh, you can hit spacebar to do some uh, jump and climbing in front of this obstacle and hit control key to switch from running and walking mode. And those animations are purely based on motion capture technology, so they look really real and good. To migrate the key component in your project, first go to the content folder and blueprint folder. You can see a CBP sandbox character. Right click, there's a function called asset action and migrate it. And you can see there's a window that show you all the key components this um, this blueprint gonna need it. Let's click OK and go to the um, the project project directory uh, of your target project and select the content folder of the project. And once it's finished, open up your target project. All right, now we're in the blank project and uh, we already have our blueprint. Let's double click it and take a look at this character. Okay, so first of all, we need a lot of plugin because you see there's a lot of error. And go to plugin, there's a series of plugin. First of all, you need motion, motion trajectory. The second one, post, uh, post search. and animation wrapping. Motion wrapping. Chaucer. And animation local motion library. And the deformant graph. Once you have it, you can just restart your engine. And now we're back and let's check it on the CBP sandbox character. Okay. Now we don't see ha we don't see any error in the compiler result. Good. So the next step we can just uh play it around with this character in our new uh level. So first of all you need to change the game mode. So you should create a new game mode for your level. Let's save it in the blueprint. Let's just name it GM mm, blank and save it. Open it up uh, in the class setting. No, uh, just go to the class defaults and on the right, find default pawn class and just search our CBP sandbox character and compile it. All right, we can close it up. Uh, and we already have a player star in our map. And let's just go play this level. So you can see, now you can see your um, the sample character in your own level. All right. The next step is replace this avatar with your own metahuman. If you don't have it, go to the crystal bridge. Um, there's a series of default metahuman, but I have my own. So I'm just going to 
imported with the highest quality. Once you have it in your content folder, we need to check on our MetaHuman by double click on that. It's going to tell you uh, there's a series of plugins you need it, and you can just click on Enable Missing. And yeah, you need another restart of your Unreal Engine. Once we're back, uh, I wanted to duplicate my own MetaHuman just in case I don't mess it around with any default stuff in there. I should just name it CBP Leo. And uh, for my own preference, I just dragged it to the Blueprint folder. And right now, we need to combine my CBT Leo with the CBT Sandbox character. So in CBP Leo, in the class setting, I want to set the parent class to CBP Sandbox character. Once you have it, you can see it in your viewport. And before we adjust the transform, we want to uh, drag our body by holding the left mouse to the uh, to the mesh, the character mesh, the blue, uh, the orange avatar, and we can delete the root of our metahuman and reset the transform on the body. Uh, so the location and the rotation. All reset to zero, and once we've done it, we can compile it first. And you're gonna see the error, and it's alright. Just click on target. We are missing the body as a target. Just drag it in and link in the blueprint, and recompile it. And now we're back. And the next step, we need to live retarget the animation. Go to the uh, the variable. Find this boolean, use library target mode, check. And the, and the next step, we need to make this invisible, the avatar invisible. Uh, before making it invisible, you should want to check this. Always take pose and refresh and bump. And have that uncheck visible. And now just your own as a human. Now let's go back to your world and re and we remember the uh, the game mode. We just need to replace our CBP Leo with this CBP uh, sandbox character. Remember to compile it and let's run it. And now you can see I can control my metahuman in my own level. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see this a little bit um, unmatched on my hands animation. So next video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the retarget. Uh, it doesn't take some steps, so I'm going to make another video on that. But that's pretty much it. You have your own metahuman in your own level. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for my new tutorial. So yeah, that's it. Thank you.